Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have something very important to discuss in the world of iOS and jailbreaking. Now don't shoot the messenger, but it looks like Apple may release iOS 9.3.1 to the general public, which will of course impact the release of the next untethered jailbreak. <laughs> Now, I'm going to try to keep this video as short and condensed as possible. So, if you'll remember when I actually talked about iOS 9.3 and its release in that dedicated video, I mentioned that that was likely going to be the last major 9.x release. And that's still true, we most likely will not get iOS 9.4. However, in the aforementioned video, I talked about potential 9.3.x releases, which is what we're actually going to discuss today. So iOS 9.3.1, likely an upcoming firmware from Apple. Now, why might this be released, you say? Well, apparently there's a new issue that's causing third-party applications to freeze and crash when web links are tapped or long pressed. Now, this can also occur in stock applications such as Messages or even Safari. And while this isn't occurring for all users, it definitely is for a sizable portion. It looks like, however, this issue is initiated by certain applications that use large deep linking files through Apple's universal linking. For example, Booking.com was a primary application that used an insanely large 2.3 megabyte deep linking file, which for that purpose is absolutely insane. Now, unfortunately, there's really no direct fix for this. So if you are on iOS 9.3 and experiencing this complication, your best bet is to launch up the settings application, go inside of Safari, advanced, and toggle off JavaScript. That may correct it. However, closing applications that are frozen and rebooting your device simply will not address the issue long term. Now up on your screens now there's a graph via Mac rumors and over the past week or so they've actually seen hits from devices running iOS 9.3.1 and internal build from Apple. Now unfortunately because we don't have any information on the Y axis of this graph we can't tell exactly how many devices are visiting the site running iOS 9.3.1. However in the past Mac rumors has always been spot on when releasing information concerning pre-released firmwares and hits on their website from devices running said firmwares. Now you might be wondering how we know definitively that there's going to be a new iOS update to fix this issue in particular. That's a great question. Let's go ahead and launch up Safari here and navigate to TechCrunch. Apple actually issued an official statement to TechCrunch and it reads, quote, we are aware of this issue and we will release a fix in a software update soon. So that in conjunction with the graph that we just highlighted leads us to the conclusion that Apple will likely release iOS 9.3.1 and sooner rather than later. Now you may be wondering how that will impact the next untethered jailbreak. Well, to put it simply, it could possibly delay it and it most likely will. However, since Apple is going to issue this fix soon, it's likely that this won't really delay things much longer. So that's some great news. We could see iOS 9.3.1 as early as next week. Hopefully it won't go through any beta stages. Apple will just put it through internal testing and push it out just to fix that issue. We'll see what happens. We know that Apple likes to test new releases before actually issuing them to the public, and that's evident in the betas corresponding to the last firmware, 9.3, saw seven of them. But either way, whether 9.3.1 goes through beta testing or not, it shouldn't push out the next untethered jailbreak too long. That's the good news. iOS 9.3.1 will likely be released just to fix that complication alone. However, this is the second major bug following the activation issues in the first iteration of iOS 9.3 before it was re-released for older devices experiencing said issues. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, yesterday I released a dedicated dedicated video on the subject. I'll have it linked on your screens right now. I definitely recommend watching through it. Again, in that video, I talked about Apple setting a dangerous precedent in releasing firmwares that aren't necessarily ready for the public and that still have major issues in them. So what do you think? Let me know down below in the comment section your take on Apple and their latest firmware blenders. All right, and for a super quick recap, iOS 9.3 has an issue for select users, especially when they download certain applications that make use of larger than normal universal linking files. That essentially causes certain applications, be it third party or stock, 
to crash when web links are tapped or long pressed. Apple's going to release a new update to fix this, most likely iOS 9.3.1, especially since Mac rumors, a reputable source, has seen internal devices running said firmware visiting their site. And that will likely delay the release of the next untethered jailbreak, but hopefully not by long. That's the great news. Remember though, my job is to keep you as updated and as informed as possible when it comes to jailbreaking. Things change all of the time, as indicated by the last Pangu jailbreak for iOS 9.1. No one expected that. That was kind of an out of the blue thing, simply because Pangu received an exploit and they didn't have to discover it themselves. So things are always changing. They're dynamic, not static, which of course is true for most things in this world. So if you want to be updated, just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name. I'm going to keep you completely informed and notified moving forward. I'll release videos updating you of absolutely everything going on in the realm of iOS and jailbreaking. So be sure to stay tuned. You can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more frequent updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.